Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long, long time since I've actually, first of all, since I've actually gone to a thrift store, and second of all, since I've filmed any kind of a YouTube or IGTV video. So today, um, I'm kind of a hot mess. I have not washed my hair in quite some time. Um, can't be bothered. And then, you know, um, I just got this nightgown, actually. It's brand new. It's from Wheelhouse, and she has amazing vintage nightgowns that she sells, and I finally was able to get my hands on this one, um, and I love it. I basically bought it because I saw Beth Jones from B. Jones Style thrift an amazing nightgown very similar to this. This is Vintage Victoria's Secret, and I just fell in love with it. And um, I'm just really into wearing beautiful nightgowns right now because they're so comfortable. We're home anyway. Um, I had the day off today and I was like, I want to look beautiful but also comfortable. And um, yeah, I've been wearing my hair in this bun for quite a few days now. No makeup. Um, the reason why I decided to do this video now, looking the way that I do, is because, I don't know, I think it's important that we as women... Uh, make it known that we don't always look perfect all the time. We don't always have makeup on and our hair done and we're not always wearing a perfect outfit and it's not always as put together as it may seem. Um, now, could I have chosen to like do myself up to the nines for this video? Sure. But honestly, I can't be bothered today because I have other things to do. And um, I figured you guys are kind enough to not care um, about the fact that I don't look perfect. And that's okay. Right? I really want to normalize the fact that, like, you're beautiful with or without makeup. You're beautiful when you're in your sweatpants or when you're in your pajamas or when you're dressed in a, you know, black cocktail dress. Um, and I think that we really need to realize that as humans, we're going to have down days or days when we're not feeling up to doing all those things, right? Now, sometimes it can be an act of self-care to actually dress up or to put makeup on or all those things, right? Um, it was an act of self-care for me to go thrifting this weekend for the first time in a long time, in months. Um, and it can be an act of self-care just as equally to do nothing all day, to watch TV, to vegetate, to read, to meditate, to just be in the present moment and not um, focus so much on how you look and maybe just try to relax. Try, I'm, you know, I'm giving my face a break from makeup on my days off um, and giving my hair a break from like you know, washing it too much or putting product in it or, you know, heat styling it, all those things. So sometimes just as much as our face and our hair need a break, um, the rest of uh, our body and our mind needs a break as well. So that is what I'm doing for myself today. Um, and I wanted to get into a little thrift haul. That's the reason why I'm doing this video today. So it's gonna be super fun. I found some really cool stuff. I was surprised that I did, um, especially because, you know, the Goodwill by my house is very hit or miss. Like some days it'll be amazing and I'll find all this vintage stuff. And then other days it'll be like, bleh, nothing is good here, right? But that's kind of the way thrifting goes in general. I mean, you have your off days, right? Um, this happened to be a day where I found a lot of cool stuff. There was actually more that I could have bought, but um, I decided to be more tame and not purchase certain things that I either already had too much of, didn't need, all that stuff, right? Um, so with all that being said, let's get started. Maybe I'm crazy, but is this not the cutest juxtaposition ever? adorable. This is probably a bit more Gucci vibes and either way 
I'm digging it. I love these loafers. We're going to get into them in a little bit. All right, guys, this is outfit number one. Um, so, and everything in this outfit is thrifted. Um, this white top is kind of a puff sleeve. 80s top with the big pilgrim kind of collar with the lace on it. It's got like pearl buttons. Um, I'm just obsessed with these kinds of tops right now and I think they're a huge trend for the fall so this is one of those tops that you can very easily find at the thrift store. Um, and I want to say that it was like five or six bucks. Um, everything in this haul was pretty much around five bucks and some of the items were 50% off so they were even cheaper than that like three bucks um, and this skirt um, is one of those kind of quintessential 90s early 2000s very slinky material kind of skirts um, and yet as you'll see throughout this haul I am trying to add more chocolate brown into my closet because that's a color that is very um, in for the fall. And so that is why I got this skirt. Um, and then I also got these really cool Elemento. Do you guys remember the brand Elemento? They're like 90s kind of chunky platforms. They have a little buckle on them. Um, now because they are um, vegan leather they're kind of cracking in some places and peeling but it doesn't take away from the look of the shoe so I bought them anyway and as you guys know I'm vegan anyway so that kind of doesn't bother me that much as long as the, sh the shoe looks good overall and um, yeah I just love the square toe of these the little like um, not really a heel more like a wedge and then the fact that they look like loafers, but they've got that cool wedge heel on them. So more chocolate brown. So that's outfit number one. I feel like a school teacher, but a little bit of sex appeal, right? All right, next outfit is pretty much the same with a few minor changes. So I also got these other loafers. These are naturalizer and I'm gonna show you a close up of them. They're like a croc embossed um, loafer. They have a tiny bit of a wedge on them. Um, they are vegan leather, but unlike the other ones, they have absolutely no wear to them. They look like they've been worn hardly at all. And um, they're in great condition. And I've been really wanting some chocolate brown loafers because I don't have any. I have black loafers um, and I don't have any brown. And so again, I'm trying to add more chocolate brown into my wardrobe because I don't have a ton of it. So um, that was a gap that I was trying to fill and I was very happy that I was able to fill it with these great loafers. They're extremely comfortable too. They're like so well padded and you guys know I'm not a huge fan of like super high heels. So comfort is key, especially if we're just, you know, kicking it around the neighborhood or we're not really walking around a whole lot. Um, these are actually, these would be perfect for walking around because they are so comfortable. But uh, again, um, yeah, we're, we're kind of focusing on comfort lately, right? So that's my whole uh, comfortable shoe rant, basically. Um, I'm still wearing the same top I was in the last outfit. And um, something that I'm seeing a lot of on the runway, um, on Pinterest and all over YouTube is like people wearing these kinds of puffy sleeve collar, big collar shirts underneath um, jumpers, vests, sweaters, um, and then having the, the collar, you know, peek out. And I love that, right? So the next thing that I wanted to show you that I got was this handmade sweater. Um, you can tell it's an acrylic knit. It's not itchy. Um, and I just love the open weave of it. And I love that it's also a short sleeve because, and it's kind of like got that poofy baggy oversized, but also cropped kind of fit. So you can wear it off the shoulder. Um, I also plan on wearing it. I have a bustier that's kind of like this cream white color. And I plan on wearing that underneath this. So like you can see the bustier a little bit through the 
open weave, which will be really cute. Um, and so, yeah, loafers and the same skirt, the same top, but a different sweater. And I was really happy about this. Okay, so next is this chunky knit fisherman's sweater. And it's kind of funny because I didn't have a fisherman's sweater like this. And I saw Karen Britchick has a bunch of them and I just always am like, oh, I want one of those, but not wool because I'm allergic to wool. And as a vegan, I don't wear wool either. So um, it also just makes me really itchy and like have a rash. So yeah, no wool for me. But um, so this sweater is acrylic. Um, it's not the itchy acrylic either. It's like pretty soft. Um, and I just really like the chunky knit of it. I thought it was really cool. Um, I like the fit of it. You can also like tuck it under your bra and I'm not wearing one right now, but if I was, you could kind of tuck it under and make it more cropped and it would be super cute like that as well. Um, yeah, it's just super cozy. It's got that braided detail that makes it really, um, really kind of grandpa looking, which I love. And um, you guys know, I am not above dressing like a grandma or grandpa, okay? I'm like all about the grandma chic dressing. Um, so yeah, that is this look. And um, we'll move on to the next. All right, you guys, this is my last and probably favorite item that I thrifted. Um, so as you can see, I put it on with my Jade and Docs. Um, just to kind of grunge it up a bit, because I really like to do that with, you know, floral, pretty dresses, especially the baby doll shaped dresses. I think they look so cute when you grunge it up a bit. Um, and so let me show you some more details of this dress. So this is actually a vintage maternity dress. <laughs> it's from Motherhood, which is a maternity brand. I'm guessing it's like 80s or 90s. Um, and... The actual tag, you can tell that it's vintage. It's super cute. Obviously, these baby doll dresses are perfect for pregnant women because as you can tell, like you can really make it grow. Like the, as the bump grows, you'll have plenty of room. I am not pregnant. I don't plan on being pregnant, but um, I still love this dress and I still feel like I can pull it off and I can get away with it because it's that cute baby doll style that's very trendy and popular right now. Um, I love the dark floral print. You guys know I'm like the queen of floral print. Like I love every kind of floral print there is in existence, right? Um, but this kind of like wallpaper moody floral is extremely in for fall. Um, I love the colors of it. It's got purples and kind of like burgundy wine colors in there. It's got some dark green um, yeah, so let's get closer so you can see that print. So gorgeous. Background kind of has a little bit of like a gingham, but you can't really tell completely. Um, and then, you know, it has shoulder pads, which some people like to remove the shoulder pads because they feel like it makes them look like a linebacker. And for me, I feel that it makes me look like the drama queen that I am, right? I love shoulder pads. Like, I don't ever want to remove them. Um, there are times where I've been like, whoa, that's a lot of shoulder pad. But then over time, I'm like, that's a perfect amount of shoulder pad. So um, that's just me. Um, they are, you know, removable. Um, so if I ever did want to do that, I could. Um, now, the part that I really wanted to show you, see if the lighting will get, we can get it a little better there. Um, so there are some adorable little floral buttons on the top and then they also have them let's see if we can show you here up close on the sleeve so cute and um just adorable i just i love this dress so much like yeah like i said my favorite find it does have has one pocket so this is the weird part about this dress, but it doesn't matter. It's not that big of a deal, but has one regular pocket. And then the other side is like a tiny little pocket that like four of my fingers can fit in. 
<laughs> what is that about? Do I need to rip it open or like what? I'm afraid to rip it because then what if I rip the dress, you know? So tell me, guys, tell me what you guys think about that. Should I like try to figure that out or should I just leave it as is and deal with one pocket? One pocket is good enough. One pocket is plenty. Um, so anyway, this is this vintage motherhood dress, which look at the sleeves, guys. Did I mention bat wing balloon sleeve? Yes always so this is definitely my favorite because you guys know I cannot ever resist a good floral dress and um yeah I can't wait to grunge it up for the fall with docks like this with a cardigan with a um leather jacket with a you know a denim jacket you guys know I always wear my famous acid wash denim jacket that's like my go-to um and yeah, <clears throat> that's pretty much it. That is my haul. Um, it was tiny, but I feel like I got some really great basics to wear during this transitional time and um, also in the fall and winter. And um, yeah, tell me what you guys liked. Tell me what your favorite item was. Um, and tell me, you know, how are you dressing during this transitional time where we're kind of like in a weird in between sometimes it's hot sometimes it's cold um and in california it is still like 90 degrees so um, at least in southern california let me let me correct myself there um so this is kind of like a good way to go right uh how do you guys do that where you live um, is it cold where you live? Are you lucky enough to already be dressing for fall? And, you know, how's everyone doing? You know, it's been a hard year for everyone. And I feel like the reason why I haven't been doing videos is because I've been struggling, guys. Like, I've been so busy with my 9 to 5 job that I've had no time to do these videos for you guys. And, and even to go thrifting. Like, I feel like I just, my weekends are dedicated to vegetating and processing everything that happened during the week and being a couch potato and just doing a whole lot of nothing um or running errands or doing chores things that like you know either need to be done or like just for your mental health need to be done so yeah I um I'm glad to be back I'm hoping to keep doing little hauls for you guys here and there and maybe just like some styling videos of things that I'm currently loving and um yeah i think it's going to be fun to start getting back into these and i've missed you guys and i will talk to you soon have a great day i love you guys and um take care of yourselves bye okay i don't know why i always forget this part but follow me on instagram at hippie amber vintage so that you can actually see me style some of these up in my everyday life and um put a cool little spin on it and maybe actually have makeup and hair done. And um, yeah, talk to you guys later. Bye.